We have seen how the Byzantines and Christianity affected the eastern side of Europe, but equally, although not as dramatically in terms of art, the northern realms of Europe fared in a different way. Commonly known as the Dark Ages, it is synonymous with little knowledge of the culture of art, as compared to its counterpart, the newly burgeoning Rome and Christian South with its frescoes. And further east, the stoic preservation of tradition in the simple grandeur of Byzantine mosaics. Yet the art of the North, despite its warring tribes and tumultuous times, had similarity, not least in that of the realisation by the wider church, courtesy of Pope Gregory's papacy of 590, that image was indeed the best way to communicate religious message to the layman. And so, when the last tentacles of a failing Roman Empire left landlocked Europe, and especially England, as lands of tribal unrest, with Goths and Vandals, the Danes, the Vikings and Saxons upsetting any endeavours of creating a new order in its wake. The term Dark Ages does seem to fit, the mere fact that so much rivalry and turmoil reigned gave little hope for art in general. However, where castles and the like were ransacked, there was in general more respect paid to churches. And so, a greater knowledge of this time is derived from Christian churches, their manuscripts and illuminations. With the Celts in Ireland and Scotland gradually coming to Christian faith during the 400s and later under an initiative by Pope Gregory. Yet for the 500 years from 500 CE to 1000 CE and the following 400 years, when the first inklings of a special time in culture were to start with the early Renaissance, there were, under the auspices of the Christian Church, innovations with a very northern essence, these taking shape within the framework of religious manuscripts by the monks and nuns in monasteries and convents across mainland Europe, England and Celtic Ireland. The roots and the essence of design of many of these manuscripts cannot be attributed directly, but there are early similarities with the carvings, say, on Viking ships. The intricacy of pattern and repetition can be seen in the scrolls and manuscripts in their borders, done with painstaking care and precision. Whereas the Vikings would use the carvings on their prows especially to show fearless might in the wake of evil spirits, thus enabling success in their pillaging voyages, these manuscripts' meaning and intricate style, however, would bring the layperson in from the cold, as it were, of past pagan worship into the safety of the church's God-fearing prowess.